Greetings, viewers, and welcome to Grumpy News, the show where we make over the takeover and peruse the news. Now we have some cool new info for Persona 5 The Royal. Now previously I thought I wouldn't cover any of this because I don't speak or read Japanese, which is what all of the trailers were in, but there seems to be enough substantial info to warrant talking about. There will be spoilers for the default version of Persona 5 and possibly The Royal, so if you want to go in fresh, stop watching now. One of the trailers focuses on everyone's favorite treacherous piece of crap, Goro Akechi, who does still appear to betray the team in this game. However, it appears there are some major differences with him this time. First of all, it appears that Akechi will be getting an open social link instead of the one that progresses through the story, as the player is seen hanging out with him, and he gets the blue social link points above him. Not only that, but he can be seen fighting in his evil black mask costume and even using his low-key persona. What does this mean? Well, it appears that Akechi may rejoin the team after betraying the Phantom Thieves, implying that he may get a redemption. Which I gotta say is awesome, and he was a really well fleshed out character last time, but I do kind of hope someone will address the fact that he murdered a ton of people and they kind of just forgive him for that, so hopefully they maybe deal with that, because murdering people is not cool. The general trailer gives us a lot of new info too. We get a better look at the palace where Kasumi seems to get her awakening. It looks interesting, but it's hard to take anything solid away from it. There's also this kid who drives around mementos in a car. You can trade stamps you collect for items. He likely isn't human because his ears look kind of like Shrek, but it's unclear exactly what he is. He apparently is trying to learn more about humans. His name is also apparently Jose. Mementos also seems to have a different look to it than before. Some areas are kind of similar, but others look like they might be kind of different with this kind of hazy...ness. The other Phantom Thieves seem to be getting new enhanced versions of their Personas too. Hard to say if they are replacing the ones from last time, or if this is a third tier of Persona Awakening. We get a glimpse of the Holy Grail, so it appears the final boss will remain the same. We also get a quick glimpse of the Madarame boss fight, which seems to show him splitting himself into five versions, which implies that bosses will be fought a little bit differently than in the previous version. And last but not least, we get a look at the Japanese Collector's Edition, entitled the Royal Flush Edition, which was previously announced, but there wasn't any pictures. It includes a special box, the game, a soundtrack, art book, a t-shirt, and some special in-game costumes and music from the Velvet Room and Persona 5 Dancing. It's hard to say if the same edition will be available elsewhere, or if we'll get a different one, only time will tell. Overall, it seems like this might be one of the last big marketing pushes for the game, since it is coming out relatively soon, and we seem to know a fair bit of the new features, and they're even showing stuff that falls under spoiler territory. I really hope we do get an idea of when it'll arrive to the West soon, and I suspect we will receive all of these same trailers in English sometime closer to that Western launch. Thanks so much for watching. And I hope to see you in the next video. Grumpy Gibbon, away!